we're going to make one small change when it comes to retrieving the user's credentials in our login route. Instead of passing it in the body, we're going to use a built-in utility in the Fast API library. So if we do from Fast API dot security dot OAuth, oops, OAuth2, we're going to import something called OAuth2 password request form. And so what we can actually do is instead of just doing the, the usual here with the user credentials, we're actually going to delete that. And I'm going to provide a dependency. Well, actually, I need the user's credentials because we have to store it someplace. But here we say this equals OAuth2 password request form equals depends. So we're setting up a dependency kind of like we do with the database. And so this is going to require us to retrieve the credentials. And then a fast API is automatically going to store it inside this variable called user credentials. However, we have to make one small change. So the username in when you retrieve the, uh, the user's attempted credentials from here, what it's going to do is it's going to store it in a field not called email, but it's going to store it in a field called username. So when we compare the models.user at email when we're querying the database, we can't compare it to user underscore credentials dot email because there's no field called dot email, right? It's going to only return two things. It's going to return, whoops, it's going to return something. It's going to return our username which equals whatever, and then it's going to return our password, which equals whatever. Uh, and so we don't have access to email. We have to use user dot, uh, sorry, user underscore credentials dot username because, uh, well, this is actually a bad example because you have to think of it as like a dictionary, right? It's coming in like this, and then there's going to be a, a user field. You're going to have username. Oh, why is that capitalized? Username, which equals... Well, you're going to have username, which equals, you know, blah, and then you're going to have password, which equals blah, right? And so we'll just tag user credentials dot, and then we'll grab the username, which in our case will happen to be the email. Uh, the OAuth2 password request form doesn't really care what, act, what the username is. It could be a username. It can be a, a email. It can be an ID. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really care. It's just whatever the user actually sends. It's just going to store it in a field called username. So those are all of the changes that we have to make uh, from our backend side. Now, when it comes to testing things, we no longer send the credentials in the body like we normally do. Like if I try to send this now, we're going to get an error. Right, because it says uh, username uh, is field required value error missing. So what we and the password is also missing. So what it's doing is it no longer expects it here. Instead, it expects it inside form data. So here I'm going to say username, and this is going to be my email in this case, and then my password here. And so let's try this now. And now it successfully works. So those were the couple of changes that we have to make. Um, but you'll see that it makes life a little bit easier by setting up that dependency and using the built-in functionality of FastAPI.